New Yorkers head to the polls tomorrow to pick the Democrat and Republican candidates for governor and lieutenant governor. State assembly primaries will also be held with a number of races shaping up as contests between a mayor, Adams, and progressive con Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now to break it down for us. Marsha? Well, Dana, tomorrow is a big day in New York politics. Governor Kathy Hochul facing down two challenges for the Democratic nomination, a four-way Republican free-for-all, and a slew of assembly races where AOC is trying to flex her political muscle as never before, seeking to topple entrenched incumbents backed by the mayor. It was the first time Kathy Hochul could vote for herself for governor. No vote was necessary after she automatically replaced Andrew Cuomo when he resigned in a sexual harassment scandal. And she did it the first day early voting started in New York on June 18th. I'm Tom Swazi. I'm a U.S. congressman. I'm running for governor in the Democratic primary tomorrow. This is the day before election. One of the things that people are most concerned about is public safety. Hochul is being challenged for the Democratic nomination by Tom Swazi and Jumani Williams. She leads in money raised, 34 million, major endorsements, and pundits say she is expected to get a boost from two recent Supreme Court decisions on guns and abortion. Governors are the last line of defense to protect abortion. And in New York, the Republican candidates want to strip it away. She's been strong, strong on both of those issues. Columbia University professor Esther Fuchs says that while some Supporting abortion rights and limiting gun permits will be big issues for Democratic primary voters. The flip side is true in the hard-fought Republican primary, pitting Congressman Lee Zeldin, the official GOP nominee, against former Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino, businessman Harry Wilson, and Andrew Giuliani. But it all depends on which Republican voters turn out, hard-right Trump supporters or the more moderate wing of the party. If the old-school Rockefeller Republican voters decide to turn out in this primary, then Lee Zeldin um, will be given a significant uh, run for his money. State assembly primaries are also on the ballot, where Mayor Eric Adams and Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez are duking it out for the heart and soul of the Democratic Party. Adams backing incumbents, AOC hoping to best Adams by supporting insurgents and defund the police candidates like former aide Jonathan Soto against Bronx Assemblyman Michael Benedetto and Delcenia Glover against Harlem Assemblywoman Inez Dinkins. They could totally draw blood. This is a, a reckoning moment, really. I, th I think it's something to really pay attention to. Well, the spotlight will also be on the Democratic lieutenant governor primary, where Governor Hochul is hoping her chosen running mate, Antonio Delgado, prevails. It would be embarrassing for Hochul if one of the other candidates wins. And it's happened before. In 1982, Mario Como had to run with his opponent's running mate. Dana? Thank you for the context, Marsha. In the Republican race for governor, Andrew Giuliani is facing off against fellow Republicans Rob Astorino, Harry Wilson, and Congressman Lee Zeldin. On the Democratic side, Governor Hochul runs running against Congressman Tom Swazi and New York City public advocate Jumani Williams. Primary day. Again, it's tomorrow. The polls are open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. in New York. We have a voter's guide on our website, including information on polling locations and more. Head to CBSNewYork.com.